Hi. In this session, we're going to talk about how to import leads from spreadsheets and other files into Microsoft Dynamics CRM. To start, let's define what a lead is. A lead is a person and their contact information where you believe there just might be a chance to do business with them at some point. Leads can come from multiple sources, trade shows, web responses, cold calls, etc. And you will need to take them through your own qualification process and then convert them to an account, which is generally a business that you've done a financial transaction with. Sometimes, though, it can be a, like a supplier and or a contact, which is generally a person that works for one of those accounts, and or an opportunity, which is a sales effort you hope to close at some point. You can create leads manually, one at a time, or you can import them in batches from spreadsheets. This is Microsoft Dynamics CRM. And there are several methods to import leads. Today we're going to look at one of the most simple and straightforward. And before we take a look at that, we're going to just navigate over and take a look at the, the file that we want to actually import. I'm going to go to Downloads. And there is our file. I'm going to open it up. It's a uh, simple CSV file that we downloaded from a trade show. We actually uh, manually input this at a trade show. And these are all people that were at the trade show and were interested in our aircraft. So I'm going to add another column here, just call it Topic. And for each of these people, I'm going to say uh, trade show lead aircraft. And I'm just going to kind of fill down there and save that. I'm going to save it in that uh, CSV format, which uh, the system really doesn't like you to do, but we're going to do it anyway. And now we've looked at the file. Let's talk about a couple of different ways to import your leads. One of the first ways is to go to Workplace, go to Imports, and then you can download a data template. If I click on that, I'm going to have the opportunity to choose from all kinds of different data templates to load my data into. And that will make importing very easy because it puts everything in the terminology and the format of Microsoft CRM before it's loaded. Today, though, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do something maybe slightly more straightforward. And to import our simple list of leads that you just saw, I'm going to navigate over to Sales. And I'm going to go up here to the Getting Started section, and I'm going to say Import from Files. When I do this, it gives me the opportunity to browse for that file in my, on my computer. I'm going to browse. I'm going to select the uh, CSV file that we made at the trade show by hand. And I'm just going to click Next. The first thing that I will need to do is map my trade show leads file to the leads format in Dynamics. This is telling me that I need to do that. I need to select a data map so that 
my file must be mapped to the right format. I'm just going to click Next. This is the name of my file. It says it's not mapped. So I'm going to map it to the lead format. I'm going to go select leads and hit next. Then I'll have the opportunity to map each of the individual fields one by one. Because I didn't load a template, I'm just going to map each of the fields manually or match them up. This is the CRM format name over here, company name, and I've got a, a column named company in my file. So I'm going to just match that up. Last name, I call it last in my file. Uh, topic is already matched, as you can see, topic. Address, I need to use address one, street address, essentially or uh, street address. Street 1. First in my column it would be first name in CRM. So let's go all the way down here to uh, find first name. Job title is matched. Phone in my spreadsheet needs to be matched up with business phone in dynamic CRM. There's several different phone numbers to choose from, but business phone is the one for me. State in my spreadsheet, I'm going to match it up with uh, the field in dynamics called state province and zip is should be at the very end of my list of field possibilities here. Zip postal code in Dynamics. So now I've got all the fields matched up and I've got the file matched up to the lead format. And I'm just going to press Next. And it's telling me right now that I'm I'm in pretty good shape and I'm going to press Next again. I do want to leave it where there's no duplicates allowed and I want to leave the owner as myself in this case. And I just want to press Submit, saying congratulations, my data has been submitted for import. So I'm going to press Finish. And let's go take a look at the status. To do that, we're going to navigate over to Workplace. And we're going to go to Imports again, where we've wound it up. And as you can see right now, it's saying the status is transforming. So uh, the leads are not completely imported yet. Dynamics is in a process of transforming those leads and adding them to the database. It'll take a few minutes, typically, to do that, especially if you have a very large file. So what we're going to do is go back out and look at the dashboard for a few minutes. And then we'll come back again back to imports and and now we can see that the trade show leads are completed there's four of them that's the status so let's go take a look at them we're going to navigate over to sales we are in leads and these are our new leads that we've just imported so I'm going to open one of these up and look at the details of them. Everything imported very well. And so I'm just going to hit the X over here. And that's how you import from a small file. My name is Jim Andrews and I work for the Dynamics Q organization. Please feel free to contact me directly at either of the contact methods shown. Thank you.